In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite AI tool ever and show you just how amazing it is at creating coloring pages. So AI has been around for a while now, especially within the Amazon KDP space. But consumers are becoming so much more aware of AI coloring books on Amazon, especially if they're low effort, mass produced, quickly churned out content. But even some of the good AI coloring books that you know people have taken a long time to produce are still getting negative reviews because consumers can see AI, they know AI when they see it. And some Amazon consumers just don't like it and so they'll give it a one star review. But this new tool I found is a complete game changer and the coloring pages that you can create with it, you wouldn't even know it was done by AI. So I'm gonna show you just a very quick example of how good it is. So the images here that are popping up now are some of my old coloring pages. They were all made using Midjourney. And you can see there's some consistencies there, there's some grays, they're really good, but for the majority of them, you can tell that they're AI. Now here are a few coloring pages that I've made in seconds using the new tool, design.ai. So let's put two images up here. This one is generally what AI coloring pages look like. And then this one is what the design.ai coloring pages look like. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you over there now and show you just how easy it is to make absolutely incredible coloring pages for Amazon KDP. So this is what the design homepage looks like. It's got community creations here, but you can see the AI tools listed in the middle of the section. So not only does it do text to image, you can do image to image, local edits, AI erasers, enhancing, you can do face swap, and you can also do product backgrounds. But for this one, I wanna show you how to create amazing coloring pages. So for that, all we need to do is click on new project. So the first thing that you need to do is select your aspect ratio. They make it incredibly easy, but let's go for a one by one here. So just a nice simple square. Now, what should I create? Well, you know, I've done some dinosaur books in the past, so I'm gonna have a little look at some dinosaur coloring pages. So I'm gonna click apply, and then this is my new project. So we are gonna click the text to image, and then what you do is here, you can choose a style. So you can scroll through all of these fantastic presets. So say if you wanted to create a coloring book cover, you can have a look to see if there's anything that looks like that here. You've got GTA comics, you've got 3D renders, you've got sticker pops, negative space, so not only is it great for coloring pages, it's great for a lot of different styles in really nice presets. But the one that works amazingly well for coloring pages is this Design Line Art version one. So if we click on that one, all we need to do is add a description here. So we are gonna give it quite a challenging prompt. We've put cute T-Rex wearing sunglasses on a skateboard, white background. And we're gonna click generate and see what it comes up with. So these are the very first two images it's created. So this one, the sunglasses are in the wrong place. Other than that, it looks really nice. So this one is probably the better place to start. But as you can see already, there's no shading and the lines are really consistent and you can't really tell that it's AI generated. So all you need to do is double click it and you place it on the canvas. So the AI eraser tool can help you to remove inconsistencies. So that's for the pro version only. So we'll have to come back to that in another video. But let's generate another couple and see if we can get something that we really love. So this one is really, really cute. We are gonna move it about a little bit so it's nice and easy. You can just place it wherever you want. We can place it in the middle like that. Yeah, and this is really cute because he's got his sunglasses down on his nose. It's a really fun, cute little image. Then all you need to do is click save as image and then what you can do is either save it as a JPG, a PNG, or an SVG. So the power of being able to download the SVG coloring pages is fantastic, because that means you can scale them up to the size that you want. So you're not gonna get any issues with printing if you download them as SVG, because they're gonna be high quality and they're gonna scale correctly. So if you download it as SVG, and then you've got your very own coloring page. So I'm just on the free version at the moment, so you can have a play around yourself and see what you think. So you get 30 credits a day, and you can only export them as JPGs with watermarks. So it's a great way to see if you like it, but then if you want to download them and use them in your books, you'd need to purchase a subscription. So if we go and have a look at the pricing, 
the standard plan is only $10 a month. So that gives you all the things you need like watermark removal, exporting as PNG. It allows you to utilize it for commercial use and it also has private generation. So $10 a month for all of that to create all of your current pages is fantastic. I quite like the professional one, which is $30 a month. That gives you more fast hours and it also gives you unlimited regular hours. So the standard plan is great for those who aren't really heavy users of AI, but for anyone like myself who uses it quite a lot, you probably want the professional plan. So all you need to do is click to start your free trial. You need to enter your payment information, but you can see if you like it before you buy it. But going back onto it, you can see here I did a few tests and I wanted to see if we could create a pair. So all I wanted is a very simple, clean pair for a food coloring book. And I was finding that it was so hard to generate that using AI because there'd be inconsistencies, there'd be shading, there would be like non-clean lines around the outside, but then just a single prompt in here and look how nice and clean that is. And once you've got the premium version, you could select the AI eraser here and delete anything that you didn't really like. So you could just go over the second stalk, for example, and erase it. If you want to try out design.ai for yourself, click the link in the description below. But I'm really excited about it, so I just wanna show you a little bit more about it and the other features before we wrap up. So we've got our coloring page here, but let's say we wanted to use that for the cover or for a mock-up. All you need to do is click the image to image tool and select an illustration style that you want to use. So we've selected the rubber hose one. You select the style intensity, the structure match. That demonstrates like how much of the structure it's actually gonna keep. So if we keep that quite high, you can do a color match, a face match, but we're gonna go with that and click generate and see what it comes up with. You can include a prompt as well. So for this one, you could give a bit of a description. You could say you want a green background, you want a blue sky, you want clouds, you want a volcano. So it's a fantastic way to make book covers with just a single click, whilst also showcasing your interior style as well. So I'm a big fan of that and let's see what it's come up with. So here are a couple of examples. You know, they're, they're quite cute. It's colored in the dinosaur really, really well and it's really lovely, bold, simple styles. And we've got a few more here, but you can see it's kept the structure of the coloring page. And that one's quite nice. That one could work really well on a front cover. And then all you need to do is download it and it's yours to put on a front cover. So yes, yeah, so not only is it great for coloring pages, it's also great for your front covers as well. But I also wanna show you some of the amazing coloring pages that I've created. So I'm gonna share a few of those now. So here are a few more food ones. So you've got a burger, you've got a nice cup of coffee, you've got really clean, minimal pancakes with fruit, you've got a lovely looking ice cream, noodle box, then going on to some different styles. You've got a nice camper van, a tent, a car, a lovely landscape. So you can see this minimal line art style. You know, if I was looking at that, I would not be able to tell it was AI. So yeah, here's an example of an old coloring page I did before I found design.ai. So you can see here, it's a lovely coloring page. I think it's really, really nice. But if you knew what to look out for within AI, say if you're a consumer who doesn't like AI content, it's very obvious by looking at this with the shading, with a few of the little inconsistencies with the clouds, with the lines, you can tell that this is AI generated. Whereas with that kind of more minimal clean line art illustration, you can't even tell it's AI generated. So if you're looking to create absolutely fantastic AI generated coloring books, look no further than design.ai. Okay, so make sure to check out design.ai. It's an absolute game changer for me within Amazon KDP. So when you're uploading, make sure you're honest and you know you tell them that it's AI generated. But one thing that this type of AI generated content will do is it will stop you from having negative customer experiences because they're not gonna know it's AI generated. There's not gonna be low quality content. It's absolutely incredible. When you go on the site, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know your first thoughts. Let me know what's working well for you. And you know, I'm very new to it. So if you're discovering any cool tips and tricks, drop them down in the comments below. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure to check out design and I'll see you in the next one.